Good evening, welcome to Left, Right and Center. I'm Vishnu Shom on the program tonight. The music icon Javed Akhtar, whose comment about 26 11 attackers roaming free in Pakistan has gone completely viral. He made those remarks in Pakistan. He speaks to me in a special interview. We play that out here in a few moments. Mr. Akhtar said recently in Pakistan in a freewheeling interview that um, he made those remarks at a time when others in Pakistan said, when you go back to India, say not all of us uh, wish badly about India. To which he said, look, there are sensitivities in India. Why? Because those terrorists behind 2611 are walking free in your country. In this very important interview, Javed Akhtar speaks about those in Pakistan and those in India who want peace more than anything else. He also speaks about cancel culture in India which targeted films such as Pathan and how such efforts ultimately work against our interests. Later on on the program, our big debate, Foreign Minister Jay Shankar today said the timing of the BBC documentary is not accidental and called it politics by another means as he denounced the narrative in the foreign media about Prime Minister Modi's government. There's a phrase is what Dr. Jay Shankar says, war by another means, think of it, this is politics by another means. Why is there suddenly a surge of reports, attention and views? We'll be debating the remarks made by the Foreign Minister with our panel on the show later on tonight. But first, these were the viral comments made by Javed Akhtar in Pakistan. We'll be playing that out and then my interview with the music maestro. <laughs> वो लोग अभी भी आपके मुल्क में घूम रहे हैं तो ये शिकायत अगर हिंदुस्तानी के दिल में हो तो आपको बुरा नहीं मानना चाहिए फैज साहब फैज साहब आए थे तो ऐसा लगता था किसी स्टेट का हेड आया हुआ है आगे पीछे तो गाड़ियां चल रही होती थी वो सायरन देती हुई और जब आते थे तो गवर्नर हाउस में ठहरते थे हमने तो नुसरत के बड़े बड़े फंक्शन किए मेहदी असर के बड़े बड़े फंक्शन किए आपके मुल्क में तो लता मंगेशकर का कोई फंक्शन नहीं Javed Saab, thank you very much uh, for being with us. Um, thank you. Firstly, Javed Saab, that entire point, um, how did it exactly come up uh, when you brought up uh, the point that, look, you know, the perpetrators of 2611, they're still roaming <coughs> around in Pakistan and therefore uh, stop complaining about India, look inside as far as Pakistan is concerned. Uh, I was there for three days and I must say that I got a lot of... Uh, uh, positive vibes and what is important that I noted that most of the people whom I met have keen desire, honestly, keen desire to have better relations with India and they want to come to India and they want uh, borders where they can get visa, they can come here for education, for trade, for business, for job and so on and so forth. And uh, they have great admiration for our country, the people. I don't know, the government or the establishment or the army thing, that, is, that must be a different agenda. But as far as the people of Pakistan are concerned, I met hundreds of people in three days, or maybe thousands. Uh, I addressed two, three meetings where there were 3,000 or 4,000 people in the auditorium. And uh, this is the vibe I got from them. There, there was a Q&A session where everybody was asking very friendly, warm questions and so on. But then one lady, stood up and she said that we have such admiration for your country and we like your actors, we like your films, we like your music, we admire your progress and so on and so forth. But perhaps you Indians don't have this kind of respect to us. You think that we are just a country of terrorists and we are all terrorists and India haters and so on. And you don't show that warmth that we show to you. So now the ball was in my court. and. It, it, this was the time to have some uh, straight talk. So I told her uh, that uh, I think you're not being fair to us. The fact is that as far as the cultural front is concerned, our record is much, much, much better. We have honored Nadi Asan, Nasrat Fateh Ali, El Noor Jahan, and so on. And uh, there were great, big, huge, humongous programs, sessions, events. And when first up came to India, has a tremendous following in India also. So he was a great poet. So he was by the government. 
was treated like a state head of a state. Everywhere he went, he was staying in the governor's house. And there was uh, uh, a pilot car in front of him and people, other car moving behind him. He was given so much of respect in India. But uh, our writers, big uh, writers and poets who have come to India, they were never invited by TPT. Never, never. It was their policy not to invite an Indian. Uh, we have had these functions, but there was no... Uh, even so, you know, the Lata point Mangeshkar that you mentioned Pakistan. is that Lata Mangeshkar, for example, was not invited to Pakistan. No, no. And uh, no. And not only that, I mean, the people who burned my city, I'm from Bombay, were not from Norway or Egypt, that's for sure. And uh, they are still moving around free uh, without any uh, repercussion. So, if Indians have some hurt or some anger in their hearts, you have to understand it. I said that that is not a big thing. I don't know, people are thinking that I did such a brave act. No, but Jamal How Jamal could Jamal I say that? Please, no, no, please listen to me. Let me complete that. What is important, and that has to be noted, that when I said this, the whole hall clapped. Yes. That is important. Mera kehna kya? Mujhe to kehna hi tha. Bhai, aap mere court mein aisi ball rakh denge, आप हिंदुस्तान के बारे में कहेंगे कि साहब हिंदुस्तानी जो है वो हमको नहीं करते रहते तो भाई हमने तो हमेशा किया अब हम तो बताएंगे ना आपने क्या किया वो बड़ी बात नहीं है चाहे कहीं भी हो तो मैं तो कहूंगा लेकिन इंपॉर्टेंट बात ये द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग पॉइंट इन दिस होल इवेंट इज नॉट माई फ्रैंकनेस नो सर वॉट इज इंपॉर्टेंट दैट दैट हॉल विच वॉज फुल ऑफ पाकिस्तानी पीपल क्लैब डॉक्टर no that's great and when you made that point that look if you if you believe that there are beliefs among people over here look inside pakistan and accept that 26 11 terrorists are still floating around in your country what was the response yeah. then what was the response the to that remark i'm just, why do see the see the video they clapped they agreed with me now what is where we have to correct our stance that obviously so many things have been happened that which can make or which will make or which have made an average Indian upset about it, rightly so. But the fact is that we have to understand that no country is a monolith. People who are doing this are not the only people of the Pakistan. There are millions and millions of people who want to have good relations with India. Yes. They admire India, India's yes. progress, India's achievement. We, uh, we try to tend to think of countries like monolith. Yes. It's not a monolith. The fact is that in our policy makers, there should be some kind of expediency that how do we connect with these millions and millions of people who want to have good relations with us. Let us not club them with the army and the establishment. That suits the establishment. That suits the army. Because wonderful. If you will push everybody, every Pakistani towards the army and club them with the army, it soon the Pakistani army. No, but, but Javed Saab, Javed Saab, therefore yeah. my question is yeah. this. Do you believe yeah. that this is the right time, sir, for us to engage in talks with Pakistan? Which no, no, in... I, I, I am not taking such leave. I don't have that kind of caliber to make <laughs> such kind of decision. I think people who are in Power, uh, people who are uh, 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 holding administration, they understand what is happening on the first channel of diplomacy, what is happening in the second channel, what is the situation, how we go about it. But I think it should start from an average citizen like me and you, that we should know that when we think of Pakistan, yes. Pakistan army, Pakistan establishment and Pakistan people are not on the same page. That's for sure. That we should keep in our mind. Uh, uh, Javed Saab, uh, what I'm just trying to understand is, um, do you believe that, um, you know, because there are those with extreme views in India, there are those with extreme views in Pakistan, um, a middle ground needs to be found for talks to take place. I'm, I'm, to, I'm using that word again. Uh, I, I know it's a difficult question, but I, I would like to get your views on that, sir. Uh, you know, you can have talks at various levels, but a meeting no, of minds I, I, of people... Uh, now, now again, various 
level make uh, it a bit different as far as the political uh, necessity is uh, uh, there political reality as yeah i think people who are that few people who are in the country would know better than me my information is very better but the fact is that we i believe that we indians have very little information about pakistani people and pakistani people have very little information about we india now if i tell you that i was there for three days i did not see a single single burqa i didn't see any burqa right there were there were uh, women there were girls uh, college girls young women they were as modern as today as uh, a girl from bombay or uh, delhi or bangalore now this is something that an average indian will find strange in fact it's his not just concept sure and and yeah. javed sahab it's not just the average indian talking about peace or wanting peace i think that's what we all uh, many of us would certainly no, no, not but no no now let, let's be honest let's be honest we are not that keen to know about it because there is, i'm afraid that we frank there is much not much to know you see they see a film they see a music they see our industrial development a corporate world uh freedom of expression uh culture so on that attract we don't see much from there we don't know much about it because i'm a, i'm afraid that they have very small islands of culture and liberal thought but there are but there are okay i get so that Amara, point but 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 javed yeah. sahab javed sahab let me ask you this sir yeah. Yeah. um you know in our country where there are such sharp opinions on how we should and should not be dealing with pakistan one of the people who actually came out in full support of you uh, is someone closely associated with the right kangana ranaut who said that um, i was a fan of his poetry earlier but now i feel that he carries a lot of truth and purity with him is it not interesting that your thoughts uh, can actually go a little way uh, in sort of bringing us all together towards what i would suggest is most important peace irrespective of your political view what's your next question that's my question sir and it's the next one also i said what's your next question no 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 come on sir answer a little bit of that do you not I'm believe coming. that it's that's a nice do you not believe that it's a it's an important remark made by kangan i how how do you respond to that sir i don't consider kangana important so how can she make important uh, remark forget about her tell you again okay Okay, you don't want to answer that. Let me uh, let me ask you uh, 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 let me ask you a little bit about this. Um, one of the big issues, and it's great that I have you on the program today. One of the big issues that we've been debating for the last uh, month or so uh, is on the movie Pathan. It's been a resounding success. It's now drawn in a thousand odd crore rupees. There was the entire culture, the entire cancel uh, the film. There's a problem in how Deepika dressed. uh lots of issues and now this film has done so well why sir why do you think it's done so well i'm not seeing the film unfortunately because i was busy in other things i was in the health farm for 15 days and then i came and went out to india and so on so i could not get an opportunity to see the film which i'll see at the earlier Uh, and I'm so happy that the film has done so well. It is not only good for Shahrukh or Bayarif, but it is good for the whole film industry. We were rather thirsting for a big success, and it happened. So the positivity and the self-esteem of film industry has uh, uh, gained a lot. Uh, why the film is successful? Well, it must be an interesting film. People must have liked the film. Why pictures were coming? But there is one more factor that. Uh, people were getting fed up of this uh, cancel culture yes and ban this film and ban that film and that cut that scene i can we are a country where there is a constitution there is a system the central government has a certification board and the film is shown to that certificate board and the board tells the producer or the director that these are the scene or these are the shot you should cut because they are not proper and it is not advisable to show them and the producer adheres to that and then the film is released after that if 
in this state or that state, people get up and say, no, you have to remove this, you have to, then dissolve this board on one side. Or the other, the home ministers of certain states give a statement, we will see it. And then we will do the decision. Then why should you do that? You should make your own censor board of your particular state. If you don't trust the judgment of the central government uh, uh, certification board, you don't trust the central government choice, then have your own board. And you tell us that when you will make the fund, central government will pass it. But we will also see it, our censor board also check it. Because we don't trust the censor board. Uh, uh, certified board of uh, central certified board of uh, central government. बोलो ये क्या है इस तरह तो नहीं हो सकता ना कि आप सड़क पे हर फिल्मों को एडिट करेंगे ऐसा क्या देखा था? It doesn't happen and we tend to underestimate him Indian film industry and Indian film contribution uh, to uh, the image or to uh, the soft power of India. An average Indian picture releases in 130, 136 countries. And if you do head count, an average Indian star is more known than a Hollywood star. Yes. On head count. Now we are a source of great goodwill of the country. You go to Egypt, you go to Germany, you go to Philippines, you go to any country. They know the country by the name of film stars. And they are curious about uh, India because Indian films and music. There are countries in Argentina. Argentina is a place like Argentina. There are certain restaurants that play only Indian music. Being the chairman of IPRS, I know about it. Our music is so popular all over the world. Ab ye jo goodwill hum dunia mein create kar rahi hai Hindustani film aur Hindustani film music. Aap usko kya uske aisi kitne? Why are you trying to destroy it? It's marriage face. Why? What is the agenda? I mean, we are intentionally or unintentionally. You can say, you can make a little picture. I will not get into that. But the fact is that these films are creating a lot of good films. This music is creating a lot of good will all over the world. Okay. And why are you trying to kill this goose? One final question to, you know, you use the words, what is the agenda? Uh, what is the agenda no, of, of those? Know. No, no, I'm, I'm asking you, sir, what is the agenda of those who are a part I, of this cancel you, you are, you, culture? You are repeating, you are repeating my question. I had questioned that. No, no, I, I know that. I, I'm, 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 so wondering, I thought, if, I'm I thought, wondering if you would I have thought, an answer I to thought, that. I thought, I thought you would answer it. If I don't know. I, knew I, it, I, I just feel... I, I, wow. I just feel that it's unfortunate in our yeah, country to be cancelling films yeah. uh, and to be make, asking for edits no, no. in the manner that it's done. I agree with you. but We, we are harming our society. We are harming the reputation of our country. And uh, we are not doing something very positive by doing all this. All right, Javid Saab. Wonderful speaking to you. You speak the language I of peace as always. I think success, Patan success has given this message loud and clear. Don't do this. Jawad Sahib, wonderful speaking to you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.